Furman, Princeton, Fairleigh Dickinson. Plenty of upsets so far in this year's College Hoops Bracket Challenge. Will there be an upset in our antique appraisal edition? We are about to find out. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, all of my NCAA teams are out now. Are they? <laughs> oh. Oh. I know. So now I just choose some underdog and I just cheer them on if I know them or not. <laughs> so that's how it goes. Well, we're celebrating all month long. We're uh, appraising antiques, but we're also trying to see if one of the three items is worth more than last week's highest priced item. So I, what was it and last that's who advances. Right. And so this is what yeah. was the winner last week from Nancy. Now, yeah, we, nice, huh? Are we supposed to remember how much that was worth? Because I have no recollection, Dr. Lori. I think it was $75, but so we see whether or not Nancy moves to the next round or okay. if one of this week's actually decide, becomes the contend the next one that we have to contend with. So okay. let's get started. What have we got first? Um, the glass a, vase. Yes, right? it has a thistle pattern on it. Ooh. It was sent in by Joe. Oh, hey, Joe. Okay, so this is a Phoenix Glass Company vase. It is an umbrella stand, in fact. So it's a little bit bigger, but that's oh. hard to tell from the from the, the the angle of the picture. But luckily, Joe was good enough to give me uh, dimensions. It's hand blown glass. And it has that thistle pattern. Um, thistles are very, I mean, we ate a lot of thistles in our Italian American household. So people say you eat those and actually thistles are very good for you as for digestion. Uh, that's a little bit of a medical thing. Very that may or may not be true. Good to but know. My mother thought they were good. Anyway, 1950s from the Phoenix Glass Company. What do you think? You know, is this something, it looks almost three to, like if you rub your hand across yeah. it, you would yes. feel the thistles, right? Yes, it's called a bar relief. It's called a bar relief. It's actually molded that way. But yeah, if it were carved, we'd call it a bar relief, but it is a relief pattern, yes. And I would this really be like hot this. because it's mid century modern or not so much? Yes. Yes. Oh, she was like annoyed with that. And your important question. to my mom because she loved thistles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got it. Oh, I just don't. Okay. Also, okay. I love I it and know. it's beautiful and I want one. Now I it want is an umbrella. Pretty, yeah. yeah, I like that too. I said eighty dollars. Yes. I said a hundred dollars. One hundred and twenty-five dollars <gasps> is what it's worth. Wow. But it's bigger than a vase. Oh, okay. So All right. Already. We like that. Big smile from David. Big smile from David. Well, okay. I like. You know, it feels good when you get the first one. All right. So next up, we have a Dorothy Barbie sent in by Lisa. Okay, so collectible Dar Barbie, Dorothy talks, so this is a big deal. She has her ruby red slippers, which light up. It's in the original oh. box from 1999. Ooh. So it's, you know, it's not quite, it's like 20, I don't know, what is it, yeah. 24 years old, something like that. So it's, D it's just at the end of the 20th century, but collectible Barbies, eh, this could be a tough one. What do you think? Um, <laughs> I'm going to go a little bigger, but is there any kind of anniversary coming up for Wizard of Oz? No, the anniversary, no, the anniversary for the Wizard of Oz, it was 75 years in 2018. Oh, okay. So I don't know if that's we're right. Past the big one. I'm guessing. Okay. Mm. I'm guessing. So I we had what the Dorothy 75, says. so we don't have another big one for 25 years. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go ahead. $75. Ooh, 450 $150. Ah, oh, I was way oh, off. Oh, but you went big. You're a fan of Dorothy. Big, though. Okay. I like that. Like All that. right, we have one final item here. It is a vase sent in by Robert. So let's take a look at this. Tell us about it, Dr. Lori. This is hand painted. You can see the nice landscape hand painting. Uh, it's painted on porcelain. It's a vase with two handles. It has figural handles and moriage, which is wet slipware. There's little white flowers or wet slipware that's painted on after. It's 12 inches tall. It's from the early 1900s. It is marked Nippon, which means it's made in Japan. Hmm. And it's 12 inches tall, I told you that. Yep, that, that's really a nice vase. It's really a nice vase or it's really yeah. a nice vase? <laughs> <laughs> it's really a nice vase. Just like I wish Penn State won the other night, that would have been really nice. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. I've been off all day today, so what'd okay. you say? I said $80. I said 120. Well, you're not that far off, Heather. It's a hundred bucks. All right. All right. Wait, but who won? What did you say? Eighty. It's I said a eighty. I got a point. So that means that Dorothy moves on this week. Dorothy right? moves on this week. We got to see who might be able to beat her next week, or maybe Dorothy just keeps moving on. I don't know. Maybe. We got to see. But we love playing it.
This is a now lot of this fun. is fun. I like this. I Little like we changed twist. it up for March exactly. Madness. We oh. have to change it up for Mar Mad March Madness. And of course, we love to follow all of those scholar athletes who are working hard on the basketball court. So right. good to see you guys. Thanks. Good to see you too. And thanks to everyone for sending us your pictures. You can send yours. Just email Dr. Lori at PTL at KDKA.com and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.